Hi, everybody. How are you? It's Leslie. And I'm going to hopefully try and do a quick um, video on um, a project that I've been working on. I'm in the middle of my winter Christmas break. However you want to politically correctly say that. I prefer to say Christmas, but whatever. It's winter. Kind of. I don't know. We've had a lot of crazy weather here in Indianapolis. The day before Christmas Eve, we had tornadoes. So, you know, go figure. But anyway, one of the things I've been working on here is called a pocket letter. And a pocket letter starts out with this. I put a piece of black paper here so that you can see it. This is, um, I picked this up at Office Depot. Um, I got a pack of like, I don't know how many come in this pack. Uh, oh, 10. But they're for uh, baseball trading cards and stuff like that. You can use them. But crafters now are, the big thing is called pocket letters. And what you do is you take something like this and you fill all the pockets with cards like this. I'm just using this as an example. And this is two and a half by three and a half inches. So what you do is you'd make, you know, there's nine, you know, squares in here or openings. So you'd fill all nine of these up. And what you basically do is you decorate the card and then you can decorate the outside of the card if you want to add a little bit more dimension. Um, and then as crafters, what we do is then we would hide, um, not hide, but stick little goodies back here in the back part. And then um, usually in the middle um, one, or I, I've seen a lot of people just use the middle part. And then in there you would insert, you know, you'd have a card that's decorated. And in there you would tuck back behind. You know, this would be in here like this. And you would tuck back behind there your letter. And you'd mail this off to um, to someone either as a swap or sometimes you might just do it as um, sometimes it's called a rack R A K which stands for a random act of kindness and these are supposed to fit in a um, standard um, business size envelope because you can fold them like this and then you can stick them in you know into an envelope and mail that off to um, off to that person. I'm working on um, a pocket letter and it's not part of a swap. It's a random act of kindness um, pocket letter that I'm doing for um, someone that just really inspires me um, it, to be creative. And she's really cool. She's really funny. Um, she's the kind of person I think I would like to just go, go out and have a beer with. She just cracks me up. Um, she just, you know, she's just herself, and I love that about her. I just love it, and um, I just really wanted to do something for her. So, I'm hiding all this stuff is hiding in here. My craft room right now looks like it has thrown up on itself because being on break. Um, as some of you might know, I um, I work at a high local high school here, and I work with kids with. Um, profound special needs. So I'm on a school schedule. So I get two weeks off at Christmas and two weeks off in the fall and two weeks off in the spring. And um, that's why I do a lot of um, crafting. And like I said, so I've been up late and sleeping late and just um, hanging out in my craft room. Well, I hang out in here all the time anyway, but I've just been really um, doing a lot of crafting. This is just some tissue paper that I've been stamping on to use on other projects. But um, I can go ahead and show this to you now because the the girl that I'm doing this for, um, I'm not going to post this video until I know she's gotten it. So here's a grand unveiling of what this is. And this is my pocket letter. And it's for Stacy over at Pink Poodle Crafts. And what I've done is, I'll take the card out, 
you know, and I decorated, well, not decorated the back, but I put cards on the back just to either so she could pull it out and use it in a pocket letter for herself um, or, you know, she can just leave it there and it'll just um, cover the back. But what I've done is she really loves Graphic 45, so I found um, a bunch of Graphic 45 vintage girls. Um, and because it's winter time, I'm trying to think of warm thoughts, so they're all in their bathing suits. So they're vintage girls swimming in their bathing suits. But anyway, I cut out the pictures of the girls, and then I mounted it on brown, um, brown cardstock. And then, um, well, first I ink the edges around the picture, but then to add this gold, can you see that? The gold, and I did it real sloppy. I wanted it that way. Um, I used my uh, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in Venetian gold. Um, I just, you know, shook it up and dipped my finger in the lid and just took my finger and did that. And like I said, here's the back. It's just a piece of um, scrapbook paper, and so that way it kind of matches. And then what I'll do is in between these two pieces of paper, I'm going to stick little goodies in there for her um, and a few other things. <laughs> but I just want to show you real quick how I put this together. First of all, this right here, this black lace, it's actually, this is from my stash. Um, it's a self-adhesive paper lace. And it comes in three different things. And you know, the full, the great thing is when I peel that off, and, and I did glue that down using um, my quick dry glue. This is the backing. I can use that on something else. Look at that. So it's like a two for, it's a two for one. Actually, I think I got that out of my mom's stash. My mom gave me a whole bunch of stuff. I guess she decided she wasn't going to craft anymore, so I have a great big basket. And I think this was in it. But I think I have another one that's like this, but not these patterns. So um, then I also embellished with these right here. You can see these little gems right here. And then these flowers here and the leaves. Um, I'll show you how I did that real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. It is just, my room is such a mess. All right, we'll start with these. This is a shaker full of, um, uh, what do you, what the heck do you call this? It's blingy stuff, you know, it's, um, I can't remember what you call it, but it's blingy. Um, I bought two packages of it, silver and gold, and then I just put it into, this was an old spice thing. Um, so if I need it, I just dump it out and pick out what I need. And I picked out the gold, and then all I did was, and I can't, oh, here it is. Um, I just took gold bling. Actually, here's here's one that's not glued on. I just took some of the gold bling and glued it into one of those pieces of um, shiny stuff and then glued them onto here. Um, word to the wise, I, first I glued them on with tacky glue, quick dry, um, doesn't work. They popped right off. So I had to go and pull out my Fabri-Tac and that held it down nicely. Um, these leaves right here are just leaves from my stash. Um, sometimes when I get bored, I'll, um, I'll hook up my Cricut and I'll just cut out a whole page of leaves. And what I did was I took um, a, br uh, a script stamp with brown ink and I stamped all over it and then cut out my leaves. So now my leaves automatically have, the, um, have script on them. Now these here, the flowers themselves, pulled this out of my stash. You know, I think this light is being a pain in the butt. I can't tell. Well, anyway, it is what it is. 
I have no idea where I got these. They're paper leaves, or I'm sorry, paper flowers, and I just have tons of them. So I took them and I painted them using Deco Arts Rich Espresso Metallic Ink or Metallic Paint. Sorry, it's an acrylic paint. Um, I'm part of the Deco Arts Helping Artists program, so I've got. I got a boatload of paint, so I love using this to paint the flowers and stuff. Um, and they just add a splash, you know. They to have it shimmer like that with the metallic paint, I just loved it. And then, you know, I took one of these again and used it in the center of um, of my flowers. So I think it really turned out nice. Um, I hope she likes it. Let's see if I can get. You can see this without a glare. And these here, I wrote out her name, Stacy, and I used the um, the bronze paint, and then I used my um, Wink of Stella, and I used the clear. I like the clear because it goes over anything, and it adds a nice sparkle. I don't know if you can catch that in there, but... It has a nice sparkle to it, so it just kind of glimmers. I know she likes sparkly things, so there's that. And um, I will share with you, I'm going to do a video on these um, real <laughs> real soon, but one, some of the gifts that she's going to get um, in her package here, um, these are actually inspired by her, by Stacy. She did a video on these, and I loved them. And what these are, these are called art tiles. See, that's the um, Eiffel Tower in Paris. Let me get it up closer so you, ah, so you can see it. Yep. I made that. Isn't that cool? But I'm going to do a video on how I did that. And I, the product, actually, that I used is um, this. It's called... Um, air dry modeling clay. I picked it up and this is 2.2 pounds. I picked this up at Walmart. It was like, I don't know, six bucks. Um, and I'm still, I haven't opened this one yet. I'm still finishing up my other one, but you just roll it out and then, um, you get, you know, designs out of it. Let me get this piece of black paper back here so you can see this better. <clears throat> But you just, you know, roll it out. I just roll it out using a, um, you know, a, a rolling pin. I mean, it's just sitting in my kitchen not getting used. I don't bake. My daughter-in-law is the baker in the family, not me. Um, but I just rolled this out, sprayed it a little bit to keep it wet once in a while, and then let them dry. And then I sanded it, you know, so that it was smooth. Um, and then you paint, you paint and decorate them. And then when you're done, after you're done painting and decorating them, you can use, um, Deco Arts, um, liquid glass, or you could use glossy accents, um, or you could just use ultra gloss. This is by Deco Arts too, or you could use your, um, your gloss medium or whatever. Um, if you don't want those, these other products, you know, like this, they're going to actually add like a little bit of a, a bump to it. I don't know if you can see it just kind of adds a little bit of a, I don't know, bump. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, these are great. Um, I did make some and put stickles on it, um, to, you know, add decoration to it, but it like cracked all over the glossy accents. I don't know, or all over the stickles. I don't know why it did that. So I've got three of them that I have to redo because I want to put one in each one of her pockets. But like, here's one that I did with the floor, with the floor to lean on it, you know, and, and after you're done, um, painting it and decorating it, then I just kind of, I take black paint, acrylic paint and just, you know, do my sides. Um, and then what I'm going to do 
if I can get them here, they're all unstuck. I've got these magnets, and I'm just going to glue the magnets on the back, and now she's got magnets. But I know she loves the Eiffel Tower, so there's the Eiffel Tower for her. I know she loves dress forms, so there's a blinged out dress form for her that I did. Um, I love this one. This one turned out really cool. Oh, wait a minute. It goes this way. I guess it really doesn't matter. It can go any way she wants it to go. But yeah, I just painted and stamped and added some texture and some glitter and away we went. I love this one. Plant smiles, grow laughs, and harvest love. But yeah, you can see there's texture stamps, like little circles back behind there. And even behind that is, um, I think, uh, text. But yeah, so those are some of the gifts that um, are going to be going in the pocket letter for her that I'm working on. And I'll do a, a tutorial and I'll do some, um, some tiles for you. Now, you can use the clay. The other thing you can use, oh, let me reach up here. Um, I picked this up at... I don't know, Michael's probably. And I don't even know what I paid for it, to be honest with you. No more than $3. There's 130 pieces in here. And they're all different shapes of wood squares. Well, you can make tiles out of these. You don't need to necessarily use clay. You could use chipboard. You could use a heavy. If you have light chipboard, double it up. And you could use chipboard to make these. You know, you don't have to just use clay. Um, but they're, you know, these are heavier. These are going to be for, you know, like I said, there's going to be a magnet that goes on the back. And they're going to, um, they're for her to put wherever she wants. But, you know, how cool, how cool is that? I mean, you could do, you could, there's so much you could do. I mean, if I wanted to, I could put some more bling on here, but I, I just think I'm done. I think it's, I think it's got enough. I don't want to put too much on it. I mean, I, I don't know. I suppose I could, but I mean, it's just, I, I just like it the way it is. And I think that she would like it like this too. So, but anyway, so there's that and there's the back. See the back looks finished. And with the lace, you know, you, it's clear. You can see through here. All I have left to do, actually, is punch the holes where the holes are. Because she keeps a binder of these. Because um, she swaps these with people. Um, she makes them and then trades them. So, and she keeps a binder of all the different ones she's received. So this way she just has to, um, you know, take this and stick it right in her binder. And uh, I'll put some information on the back, too, here for her so that, that way, when she flips, she flips through, she can say, oh, look, that's from Leslie from Scrapping Life Away. Um, so anyway, this is my um, pocket letter that I made for Stacy. Like I said, they're real easy to do. This is the first one I've ever done, and I was really surprised at how easy it was. Um, the biggest thing was just picking out what photos I wanted to put in here. And from there, I just, you know, went crazy. But... Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these. Um, and I really like the random act of kindness because um, I'm doing it for her just because. Um, because she's an inspiration, and she doesn't try to be somebody she's not. And uh, I really like that about her. So I'm going to, uh, this is my random act of kindness, to say, hey, Stacy, thanks for doing what you do. I appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going to finish off here. Y'all have a great night. Be safe out there. Um, don't drink and drive. Um, but have fun. Enjoy your family and friends. And good night. Bye, y'all.